carbamazepine an anti epileptic and analgesic drug carbamazepine is one of the drug which is used to treat the seizures that's why it is called as anti epileptic drug and carbamazepine can also be used in the some of the situations like the trigeminal neuralgia where there is a pain within the neuron that's why carbamazepine can also be called as analgesic but it is not a conventional analgesic which are used to treat the body pains and other muscle pains but this carbamazepine is particularly used in the trigeminal neuralgia where the pain is going to be produced because of a disorder within the neuron which triggers the nociception in such situation carbamazepine can be used to treat the neuronal pain so that's why carbamazepine even it is an analgesic it is not a conventional analgesic like the anesthetics and carbamazepine can also be used in the treatment of the bipolar disorder particularly in a manic phase carbamazepine can be used to control the mania in the bipolar depressive patients chemical structure of the carbamazepine carbamazepine is having a fused ring system like this and one of the functional group in the carbamazepine is the carboxamides and uh, this carbamazepine is having a fused ring system with two benzene rings so this can be called as dibenzo and this dibenzo ring is going to be fused with a seven member ring system with one nitrosen so the seven member ring system with one nitrosen can be called as azepine so now the ring system in the carbamazepine is the dibenzo azepine and we can start the numbering for this uh, dibenzo azepine ring system and we have to give the least number to the nitrosen so we can start the numbering like 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have given the least number to the nitrogen that is 5 and after that we can continue the numbering to 6 to the 11 now this carbamazepine is having the nitrogen at the fifth position as well as a carboxamide group at the fifth position so the name of this carbamazepine can be called as 5h dibenzo azepine 5 carboxamide the 5h indicates the fifth position is saturated so 5h dibenzo azepine 5 carboxamide carbon japan should not be confused with the benzodiazepines which are hang the benzene with the azepine but this is not having two benzenes with azepine so carbon japan is a dibenzo azepine how it acts suppose this is a central neuron central neurons are going to be stimulated by entry of the sodium into the cells sodium is responsible for the depolarization and this depolarization can lead to the so many neuronal activities and among them the important uh, effect that can be observed by excessive cna stimulation is the induction of the seizures so whenever central nervous system is stimulated it induces the seizures within the patient and depolarization of the neuronal cells can also increase the nociception so they can induce the pain within the neurons and depolarization can also increase the cna stimulation which cause the manic phase in the some of the susceptible patients even the physiological mechanism behind these uh, conditions are different all these are uh, related with the excessive stimulation of the sodium channels within the central neurons now carbamazepine is one of the drug which is going to block these voltage gated sodium channels thereby inhibits the depolarization of the central neurons thereby controls the seizures pain and as well as a manic phase in the bipolar disorder and carbamazepine can also act by other activities and one of the possible mechanism still it is not clear is that it can increase the gaba activity gaba is a inhibitory neurotransmitter which can suppress the mania in the bipolar depressive patients but the main action of the carbamazepine is attributed to the blocking of voltage gated sodium channels metabolite of carbamazepine carbamazepine is having the structure like this and it is having a double bond at the 10th and 11th position so whenever a double bond is present it is easily susceptible for the metabolic pathway by oxidation now cytochrome p450 are the family of enzymes which are responsible for the metabolism of the carbamazepine and by action of these enzymes carbamazepine is converted to its metabolite uh, that is the 10 11 epoxide metabolite we can observe that epoxide is going to be found between the 10th and 11th position and this 10 11 epoxide metabolite is an active metabolite of the carbamazepine which is also responsible for the blocking of the sodium channels as well as this a metabolite can also be responsible for the few of the side effects like the aplastic anemia and carbamazepine acts as an enzyme inducer 
drugs are going to be metabolized to their metabolites by cytochrome p450 system so we have so many type of enzymes like cyp3a4 cyp2d6 so many enzymes are there and carbamazepine can induce these enzymes thereby it increases the metabolism of the drugs as the metabolism increases farm class actions of the drugs is going to be decreased leading to failure of treatment so whenever carbamazepine is given along with other drugs possible drug interaction should be checked and dose should be properly adjusted and one more interesting feature is that carbamazepine can induce the metabolism by itself so once the carbamazepine induces the cytochrome p450 system which further metabolizes the carbamazepine so it is a act like a self enzyme inducer thereby its metabolism is induced by its own side effects some of the side effects like the nausea and vomiting constipation dry mouth and dizziness are the common side effects that are observed with the carbamazepine and apart from these side effects carbamazepine can also produce the liver failure which lead resulting in the abdominal pain and jaundice in the patient and liver failure is not immediately observed and it can be observed only through the chronic treatment in only few of the patients so liver failure is one of a rare side effect observed with the carbamazepine and carbamazepine can also produce the some of the rare side effects but they are very severe in condition and they should be immediately monitored carbamazepine can affect blood as well as skin so on the blood it mainly produces a anemic condition so it can produce a aplastic anemia as well as a granulocytosis and at a very toxic dose it can produce a bone marrow depression so if any patient is having hematological disorders like the anemia or bone marrow depression the carbamazepine should be avoided and on the skin carbamazepine can produce some of the skin rashes and uh, in susceptible patients the carbamazepine can produce very severe uh, skin reactions like uh, toxic epidermal necrolysis as well as steven johnson syndrome these are the hypersensitive reactions observed in few of the patients and particularly these side effects are observed in the patients who are associated with the hla b gene that is human leukocyte antigen b gene in the patients having the hla b gene they are having the more risk for this toxic epidermal necrolysis and steven johnson syndrome how carbamazepine is given carbamazepine can be given as a chewable tablet extended release tablet extended release tablet is commonly called as xr tablet and this xr tablet is not a substitute for the chewable tablets because extended release tablets release the drug very slowly chewable tablets release the drug very immediately so extended release tablets are not the substitute for the chewable tablets and it can also be given as a suspension and the dose the dose may be variable from the 100 mg to the 400 mg and depends on the situation for example in case of uh, epilepsy and bipolar disorder initial dose is started at the 200 mg twice daily and in case of trigeminal neuralgia the dose is started at the 100 mg twice daily and these are the adult doses but for the children within the 6 to 12 years the dose should be reduced to half of the adult dose and for pediatric purpose less than 6 years of age the dose is fixed based on the body weight around 10 to 20 mg per kg per daily is given as a dose which is given as a divided doses in the pediatric patients less than the 6 years so that's about this carbamazepine which is not only acting like as an anti epileptic it also acts as an alsic particularly in the neuronal disorders like the trigeminal neuralgia and it can also be used in to control the manic phase in the bipolar depressive disorder